Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Penn State Abington, and welcome to our spring 2023 commencement. Please refrain from unnecessary conversation and movement during the ceremony. Please mute and or turn off all electronic devices. You are welcome to take photos from your seat. At this time, I ask that you rise for the processional. Good morning. Please remain standing for the national anthem.
so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the Thank you. You may be seated. Graduating seniors, faculty, staff, and honored guests, I'm Dr. Margot Deli Carpini, the Chancellor of Penn State Abington, and I'm so pleased that you're joining us for our spring 2023 commencement exercises. Before we begin, I want to introduce the people sharing the stage with me. So please rise briefly as I call your name. Leilani Fox, President of the Penn State Abington Alumni Society Board. The Honorable Art Haywood, Pennsylvania Sa Senator representing the 4th Senatorial District. Dr. Vivian Chu, Assistant Teaching Professor of Psychological and Social Sciences, Faculty Senate Chair and Graduation Marshal. And Dr. Andrew August, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. The Faculty Marshal role is an esteemed privilege. Their duties during commencement are to lead our faculty into the ceremony and set the tone and decorum for our graduates. The position is symbolic of faculty involvement in shaping our students' lives. Will faculty marshals please rise as I call your name? Dr. Lisa Tuning, Interim Division Head for Arts and Humanities. Dr. Matthew Fury, Division Head for Science and Engineering. And Dr. Nicole Stokes, Division Head for Social Sciences. You may be seated. The legal corporate body of the Pennsylvania State University is its Board of Trustees. This is the body that, by our charter, is given final responsibility for the governance, welfare, and all other interests pertaining to the university. By virtue of the authority vested in and as approved by the Board of Trustees of the Pennsylvania State University, I'm authorized on behalf of the Board to confer on each of these candidates the degree earned as certified by the appropriate college faculty and dean. Graduates, today we celebrate you and your accomplishments and the impact that you'll have on the world. But first, I want to take a moment to honor your loved ones and all who supported you along the way. If you're a faculty or staff member, please stand if you're able. Thank you for tirelessly helping our students navigate their pathways toward their bright futures. Thank you. Would our guests in the audience please rise if you're able. Your love and your support have helped our new graduates achieve great things. Thank you. <laughs> Class of 2023, if you're the first in your family to graduate from college, please stand if you're able. As a first-generation college student myself, I understand personally the challenge that you've overcame to get to where you are today. Now, would all of our new graduates please rise if you're able. Everybody up. You truly represent the best and the brightest. You're the next generation of leaders and change agents. Graduating from college, and you can, you can sit back down. <laughs> Graduate from graduating from college is always a remarkable accomplishment, 
But you, the class of 2023, have demonstrated extraordinary persistence and resilience in completing your, dis your degree despite a global pandemic and levels of social and racial strife that most of us have not experienced in our lifetimes. So congratulations to these graduates and we look forward to everything you're going to do. So one of, one of your classmates, Ashley Bennett, um, Ashley, could you please raise your hand? Thank you. Um, recently reflected on the challenges of these last four years. Ashley observed that your class responded to observe, a, a, a adversity by reevaluating and reassessing your priorities, and then you stepped up. You fought for change and you achieved your goals. And all the while, you discovered unexpected moments of growth and joy. Finally, Ashley said four years at Penn State Abington were life altering, life saving, and life changing. Across our campus, faculty and staff have shared similar observations about the exceptional class of 2023. You're unafraid to challenge norms. Your vision for the future may look different than others expect, and you're okay with that. You've endured very difficult circumstances, but you understand it's time to allow your light to shine. You've chosen to live with positivity, grace, and strength. These skills will serve you well as your future unfolds, and you're prepared to work successfully, both collectively and individuals. There have been fundamental changes in our work, our learning, and our lives. You've answered the call to serve your communities and found new ways to connect with the world. And as a result of these experiences, you've centered your values and clearly defined your purpose. You've embraced uncertainty, adapted to circumstances, and found creative solutions to new and old problems. The work that you've done and, and the, the impact that you're going to have is unparalleled. Um, and an important lesson from the, from the last few years really is the critical importance of intentional engagement. And we've seen that in you. Um, and it's been especially wonderful to see that as we've been able to come back um, as a campus and, and re-engage. But you, um, you also know that it's important to fulfill the obligation to give back um, and to reach a handout to help those who come after you to achieve what you've achieved. You're truly uniquely equipped to face the challenges of today and those that are still to come. Your experience at Penn State Abington has prepared you to go out and continue to be successful and to continue to lead in this post-pandemic world. When I look at you today, I see promise. And my hope for you as you leave Penn State Abington is that you really hold close our shared values, especially those of inclusive excellence and community engagement. These values have prepared you to think critically and to create space at the table for diverse opinions and thoughts and to really develop better solutions to the challenges that we face. So once again, I wanna say congratulations, graduates. It's now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, the Honorable Art Hayworth, the Pennsylvania State Senator representing the 4th Senatorial District. Senator Haywood has devoted his career to community building and advocating for opportunities for those who are economically and socially disadvantaged. As an attorney at Community Legal Services, he represented families in danger of losing their homes through foreclosure, and in private practice, he assisted nonprofit organizations in revitalizing area neighborhoods. He served at Esperanza, a community development organization in North Philadelphia, for 18 years as executive vice president and senior counsel. So Senator, Senator Haywood, um, it is my pleasure to welcome you, and it's also very exciting to know that Senator Haywood was inspired by President Barack Obama um, to enter politics, which he did in 2009. He was elected to the state Senate in 2014, representing parts of Montgomery and Philadelphia counties. His committee assignments include health and human services, aging and youth, um, aging and youth, uh, state appropriations, finance, and judiciary. So please give a warm welcome. Join all of us in welcoming Senator Haywood. In 1994, I lived in the Germantown neighborhood of Philadelphia with my wife, Julie, and three children. 
Woody, Livy, and Alex. I worked in Sheltonham as a housing lawyer, and we had our children in private school that was becoming increasingly unaffordable. A friend of mine said, hey, you should think about moving to Cheltenham for the schools. So during lunch on one day, on my way back from a, a restaurant, I went to a real estate office looking for help with buying a home. So the first thing that was said to me when I went into the office, the real estate office, was the unemployment office is upstairs. Now, I was a lawyer then. I've been working since I was nine as a newspaper delivery boy initially. So I respond, no, I'm not looking for work. I'm a working lawyer. So then the agent takes another look at me and says, we didn't order lunch out today. Now I did have my one bag from the fast food place, which only had one sandwich in it, certainly not enough to feed a group of people. So I replied, no, I'm not here to deliver lunch. I need some assistance looking for a house. Since I was at a real estate office, which is in the business of selling houses. So the receptionist says, OK, uh, let me get an agent. So they bring an agent down. We go into the conference room. I got to tell you, at this time, I'm thinking, why was it such a struggle to get a conversation with the agent? So I told the agent when we sat down that we owned a house in Germantown, that we had three children and we were thinking about moving to Sheltonham. So the agent sits down with me. He has a big book. This is in 1994 with a lot of photos of houses. So he shows me a lot of photos. Then he starts telling me about what it means to be a first-time home buyer. So I stop him, oh, I'm already a home owner, so this is not the first time for me. He says, okay. Then he says, once I get him back on track, Mr. Haywood, there are so many houses in this book that fit what you want, we can't show you any today. So I said, okay, it was my lunch break. No problem. He gives me his card. He says, I will get back to you. I didn't hear from that agent for weeks and weeks. I'm wondering what's going on. A friend of mine was in a fair housing organization called the Fair Housing Council of Montgomery County. So I tell him what happened. He says, Art, I think you've been a victim of discrimination. I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I don't think that's the case. It's not clear to me that's the case. He said, let's test it. So what he does, he first sends a white guy with the same profile as me to the agent. Homeowner, a professional. The white guy is shown a house the same day. Then he sends a black guy, my profile, this is what testing is about, he's not shown a house. Then I said, let's do another test. So he said, okay, I said, no problem, he does another test. He says, a black guy, same profile as me, he is shown houses, but they're in an all black part of the town. You know, that's steering. And then he says, a white guy, same profile as me, shown houses, same day. So once I'm told this, I'm like, wow, this is, um, this is a problem. So I'd been a law student years before that at the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, so I had seen discrimination cases. Now, I was the case. I was hurt, I was frustrated, I was mad, but I wasn't defeated. I said to Julie and my friends, we gonna make them pay. Fortunately, I had a law partner who had the same approach. So what do we do? 
We sued them. That's what lawyers do. We sued them. And we won, and we used some of that money to pay for my college education of Woody, Libby, and Alex. Three years later, we moved to Sheldonham. We were very involved in, this, in, this, in the community. My wife, Julie, here, who is here with me, served on the school board and became president of the school board. We overcame that adversity. They tried to keep us out, but we beat them. On the other side of adversity is opportunity. Children going to good schools, serving in the community. What I want to share with you is that on the other side of any diversity that you have faced is also opportunity. The hurdles that are in your lane are there so that you can jump over them, whatever they are, whenever they are. Your degree will generate many opportunities for you that you cannot foresee today. And it's not just that degree. More fundamentally, it is your character, your resilience, that which is inside of you that allows you to overcome COVID-19, that which is inside of you that got you to this day, your resilience, your determination and faith, that character which you have will also allow you to beat them, to overcome adversity. Now finally, and I gotta share, this might be a little longer finally, but finally, when I was finishing college as uh, many decades bef uh, before you, I never thought about being an elected official or a politician. In fact, I ruled it out, I had a low opinion of politicians. Some of you know, sometimes I still do. But then I volunteered in the Barack Obama campaign of 2008 along with my wife and many of my friends. When he won, it inspired me to do more in government. I thought that we could do something positive in government. So I ran for township commissioner in Sheldonham Township, which at that time was nine men, all white. I broke through and won. And a few years later, served as president of the board of commissioners. And during that time, we divested our pension funds from all gun makers. We divested. We also created a sustainability agenda. Some years later, I hope I got her attention, I ran for the state senate. Now, when I ran for the state senate, I was running against someone who had been in an elected office for over 24 years. She was supported by the party. I was not. There were meetings of elected officials where you could make your case. I was not allowed to attend. Only one politician endorsed me, a longtime friend. My best friend told me, Art, you got no chance. That was discouraging, but we knocked doors, we went to people's homes, we called them, we did all of the hard work. And surprisingly to me, in 2014, I won. I changed my career as a housing lawyer and became a full-time elected official, something I never imagined that I would ever do. And since 2015, we've gotten over $80 million into our district for jobs and communities. We've been able to expand housing. We've been able to increase access to health. That is so far beyond what I could have ever imagined as a, high, as a, as a graduate in high school or college or even law school. I want you to know that just as my experience was more than I could ever imagine or ask, yours can be as well. 
You too have already overcome adversity. It is ahead of you and you can beat it as I have done as well. With your knowledge, there is power. With your determination, there is power. With your faith, there is power. Walk in your power as you leave this stage today. And please remember, there's a huge universe of opportunity. And the universe is big enough for you. I want to thank the chancellor who decided to allow me to be the commencement speaker. Thank all the faculty and staff and administration that supported all of you graduates. Thank you to all the family and friends that make this event possible. But especially, congratulations and thank you to the class of 2023. Thank you, Senator Haywood. And now, with the authority designated to me by the President of the University and the Board of Trustees, I will confer on each of the candidates the degree earned as certified by the appropriate college faculty and the University Senate. I now call upon Dr. Andrew August, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, to present the candidates for Associate Degree, Bachelor of Arts Degree, and the Bachelor of Science Degree. Will the candidates for the Associate Degree, the Bachelor of Arts Degree, and the Bachelor of Science Degree please rise. <laughs> Dr. Della Carpini, I'm pleased to present these worthy and approved candidates for the degree of Associate, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science, granted by the Pennsylvania State University. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the President of the University and the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the degree of Associate, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, and you may move your tassels. Graduates, please take your seats until you're directed to come forward and receive your diplomas. Emily Rodriguez, Corporate Communication. Kayla Mara, Corporate Communication. Valerie Gorshinen, Corporate Communication. Kelly Sharon, Corporate Communication. Arman Kayan Maud, Corporate Communication. William Gregory, Corporate Communication. Jason Corlin, Multidisciplinary Studies. Shane Negron. Art. Maya Kavit Ashvila. Art. Marie Pollock. Corporate Communication. Micah Peregrino, American Studies. Edivaldo Kaushi, Corporate Communication. Nasir Harker, Corporate Communication. Emma DeMay, Corporate Communication. Dion Cryer, Corporate Communication. Mecca 
Henry, Corporate Communication. Nora Khalil, Corporate Communication. Rafif Ibrahim, Corporate Communication. Isa Muhammad, Corporate Communication. Alan Kosmenko, Corporate Communication. Jonathan Berkovici, English. Ariel Kearns, Art. Desiree Davila, Art. Jameer Choi Herndon, Art. Samuel Feather, Art. John Rakita, Art. Theodora Dagley Adonopoulos, Art. Stephen Brown, Computer Science. Anthony Zamat, Corp Computer Science. Raul Manacunda, Computer Science. Matthew Lyons, Computer Science. Razi Haria, Computer Science. Lucas Belashov, Computer Science. Joshua Fentress, Computer Science. Jesse Fentress, Computer Science. Scott Shanfeld, Computer Science. Jacob Gampa, Computer Science. Harsh Patel, Computer Science. Kaval Patel, Computer Science. Fahim Druba, Information Science and Technology. Matthew Rodenbach, Engineering. Clifford Dennis, Engineering. Saba Alfruk, Engineering. Theodore Deptula, Engineering. Zandon Grant, Engineering. Navaldo Acevedo, Information Science and Technology. Alpha Berry, Information Sciences and Technology. Christian Bueno, Information Science and Technology. Joshua Birch Jr., Information Science and Technology. Marcus Gonzalez, Information Sciences and Technology. Robert Zarambo, Computer Science. Rejuana Chothri, Information Science and Technology. Kevin Daughtry, Information Science and Technology. Parth Shah, Computer Science. Mamalu Dorley, Corporate Communication. Yusin Chow, Computer Science. Hong Lin Wu, Computer Science. William Thomas, Multidisciplinary Studies. John Connell, Business. Christian Rodriguez, English. Naomi Oziel, History. Samar Lafifa, Biology. Alyssa Golden, Biology. Madison Branch, Integrative Arts. Vanessa Sexton, Integrative Arts. Nicholas Girolamo, History. Christopher Caballero, Integrative Arts. Jessica Peskin, Biology. Anjali Simon, Biology. Diksha Vijaran, Biology. Ayasha Westfield, Biology. 
Edmund Wakunga, Biology. Santiago Viga Jiho, Biology. Amana Masla, Biology. Farah Blantris, Biology. Sydney McBean, Biology. Cheyenne Getz, Integrative Arts. Renasia Purvis, Biology. Patrice Manasse, Multidisciplinary Studies and Rehabilitation and Human Services. Tara Schmidt, Science. Benjamin Shu, Information Science and Technology. Cynthia Morales, Science. Kajal Patel, Information Science and Technology. Juan Adele, Science. At Penn State Abington, we have a long standing tradition. When the son or daughter of a faculty or staff member graduates, we invite that faculty or staff member to present the diploma on stage. Well, Hannah Oaks, step forward. Joe Oaks, Associate Teaching Professor and Program Chair for Information Science and Technology and Program Chair for Cybersecurity Analytics and Operations, will present the diploma to his daughter, Hannah Oaks, Integrative Arts. Martin Boy, Biology. Andrew Harnishfiger, Biology. Aya Alcurdy, Biology. Ashley Navarro, English. Francis Wu, Biology. Salma Santos, Science. Jobel Thomas, Information Science and Technology. Trevor Heinzman, Information Science and Technology. Mark Chinovsky, Science. Salvat Abdunabir, Science. Mariano Flies, Science. Jacqueline Stout, Science. Hasna Naz, Information Science and Technology. Luke Falcon, Information Science and Technology and Cybersecurity Analytics and Operations. Perbita Lama, Information Science and Technology. Michael Janoski, Information Science and Technology. Ashley Barnett, Science. Mahir Monahar, Information Science and Technology. Renoy Xavier, Information Science and Technology. Jesse Sema, Information Science and Technology. Joel Varghese, Information Science and Technology. James Keehan, Information Science and Technology. Christopher Polanco, Information Science and Technology. Anna Kalinovskaya, Science. Tanya Randleman, Labor and Human Resources, College of Liberal Arts. Amanda DePartolo, Science. Majubin Jagirdar, Biology. Priya Patel, Science. Hannah Serafina Matos, Multidisciplinary Studies. Yuri Burton, Multidisciplinary Studies. Avnash Sokram, Computer Science. So those whose names um, appeared in the program but were not called to the stage have elected to graduate in absentia. 
So I now call upon Dr. August to introduce those students who are graduating with academic honors. The Pennsylvania State University regards outstanding scholarship as a meritorious achievement that deserves public recognition. Several of our graduates today are included in the honors group. There may be others who will be named to the group as a result of their final semester's work. If so, they will be so designated in an official Penn State Abington program. It's now my pleasure to announce those students who are graduating with honors. Students who are graduating summa cum laude are wearing, <clears throat> are wearing blue and white cords. Students who are graduating magna cum laude are wearing blue cords. And students who are graduating cum laude are wearing white cords. Please hold your applause until after I have read all the names. Nivaldo Acevedo, Mark Chudnowski, Trevor Heinzman, Lauren O'Neill, Harsh Patel, Jessica Peskin, those are the summa cum laude graduates, magna cum laude, Fahim Drubo, Joshua Fentress, Jenna Gorman, Andrew Harshnefeger, Ariel Kearns, Patrice Manasse, Kayla Mara, Vanessa Sexton, Jabel Thomas, Edmund Wakanga, and the cum laude graduates, Jonathan Bersavise, Stephen Brown, Nicholas De Girolamo, Jesse Fentress, Cheyenne Getz, Valerie Gorsenin, Andy Wong, Micah Peregrino, Joel Varghese, Renee Xavier. You have our heartiest congratulations on your scholastic achievements. <laughs> Among the outstanding graduates here today, I want to recognize Patrice Manasse, who has earned dual degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Multidisciplinary Studies and a Bachelor of Science in Rehabilitation and Human Services. Congratulations, Patrice. It's now my pleasure to present the Abington Faculty Recognition Award winners. The recipients are selected each year from nominations submitted by students, faculty, and staff. The Outstanding Faculty Advising and Mentoring is Patricia Collins, Assistant Teaching Professor of Criminal Justice. The Outstanding Teacher Tenure Track is Roxana Senishin, Associate Professor of Applied Linguistics and Communication Arts and Sciences. The Outstanding Teacher Fixed Term is Zach McLaughlin Alcock, Lecturer in Mathematics. The Scholarly and Creative Works Award, Marissa Nicosia, Associate Professor of Renaissance Literature. Special Recognition Award, H. Kevin Durr, Lecture in Kinesiology, and the Distinguished Faculty Service Award, Vivian Shu, Associate Teaching Professor of Psychological and Social Sciences. Please join me in congratulating our faculty award recipients. Jessica Peskin and Edmund Wakunga, please come to the stage for the Schreier Honors College Medallion presentation. So let me tell you about the significance of the Schreier Honors College Medal. This medallion recognizes outstanding accomplishments and is a visible sign of their commitment to learning and scholarly pursuits. It's inscribed, scholarly achievement, integrity of purpose, and intellectual curiosity. Congratulations to both of you. 
Lauren and Edmund, you may return to your seat. Uh, you may return to your seats. Uh, Jessica and Ed Jessica. So Edmund can return to his seat. Jessica can stay and please come to the podium. Um, Jessica is our valedictorian, and the role of valedictorian is reserved for the highest achieving student in the class. Jessica, who earned a degree in biology, will speak on behalf of the class of 2023. Jessica. My fellow graduates, families, and friends, today is a momentous occasion. We should be proud of our achievements and for making it this far, and know that our loved ones who could not be here are looking down and are very proud of us. There are many people who helped us along the way, and we are grateful for the incredible Penn State Abington faculty and staff for their support and belief in our success. Class of 2023, we had a unique college experience. At the end of our first year, we transitioned to an online environment due to the pandemic and continued to learn online during our sophomore year. Yet our professors quickly and smoothly adapted to teach online courses during the pandemic, and together, we got through the year through understanding and compassion, the Penn State Abington faculty, staff, and students persevered through the challenges. We emerged stronger than before and continued our education once again in person. Our beautiful campus has something for everyone. Some of us could be found at the CLAW, planning fun events for students, some like to hang out at the intersection, some relax at the honors lounge, and most enjoyed sitting by the duck pond. Wherever we could be found, we always supported each other. And a lot of times, I found myself saying hello to many people on my way to class, because at Penn State Abington, we are a family. Penn State Abington shaped us to be more well-rounded, as many of us were involved in club executive board positions, research to explore our interests, study abroad opportunities to gain a global perspective, as well as sports and music. We were given the resources to thrive in the real world and to make a big impact. Class of 2023, we have a bright future ahead. Our graduation is not an end, but it marks the start of something new. We'll continue to learn, grow, and discover more about ourselves and the world. Life will not always be easy, but we need to have faith that we can accomplish our goals and have the drive to keep moving forward. Always dream big and believe in yourself. Anything is possible if we put our minds to it. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. And now, I am proud to introduce the winner of the Ross Brinkert Lionheart Award. This honor is named in memory of Ross Brinkert, a beloved professor at Penn State Abington, whose grace, integrity, kindness, courage, and humility continues to inspire our campus community. The lion represents Penn State, and the heart symbolizes energy, effort, and integrity. This award recognizes an administrator, faculty, or staff member who the class who inspired the class of 2023 and who exemplifies those ideals. One nominator described this person as teaching with grace and kindness. His positive attitude and willingness to see his students succeed in the real world has had a positive impact. The 2023 Lionheart Award winner is Dr. 
Kevin Cannon, Professor of Chemistry. Dr. Cannon, please come forward to accept your award. Congratulations, and Jessica, thank you so much. Um, it is now my pleasure to introduce Leilani Fox, president of the Penn State Abington Alumni Society Board, to welcome our new graduates into the Penn State Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Della Carpini. Congratulations, class of 2023. The Penn State Alumni Association celebrates your successes and welcomes you into our proud network of Penn Staters. More than 172,000 alumni and friends like you keep their connections to our world-class university through strong membership in the Penn State Alumni Association. The Alumni Association is pleased to pre present you with a free one-year membership your membership keeps you in touch with Penn State and with more than 300 geographically dispersed alumni chapters, interest groups, and college and campus alumni societies. I invite you to reach out to your local Penn State alumni chapter. Your Penn State family will be happy to hear from you. The Penn State door is always open. When you return to Penn State, we invite you to reconnect with your alma mater and ways that inspire future generations. With that, I would like to ask our new graduates to please rise. Would all other Penn State alumni here today please rise as well? It gives me great pleasure to induct all graduating students of the Pennsylvania State University into the Penn State Alumni Association. Welcome to the Penn State alumni family. We are, we are, we are, thank you, You're welcome. congratulations again and please be seated. Thank you, Lilani. Um, so please join me in congratulating our graduates again. And I just want to say I am um, in my third year here as chancellor and this is a bittersweet day because I've gotten to know so many of the students who walked across this stage today, been to your events, seen your awards, walked through lairs to get my salad and saw you all sitting and eating and talking and just creating that community that's so important to us. And I think that's the beauty of a campus like Penn State Abington, that I have the privilege and the pleasure of really getting to know our students um, and understanding the greatness that you bring to us and the greatness that you're going to bring to the world as you leave us. So um, this, is a, this is a wonderful moment for you. Um, congratulations. And I always say, remember, commencement does not mean end. It means beginning. So this is the beginning of your journey, of the next phase of your journey. Um, so let's congratulate again. One more big round of applause. So the Abington College Spring 2023 commencement will conclude with the Penn State alma mater. The lyrics are on the inside front cover of your program. We invite you to rise, join in the singing, and remain standing until the processional has left the area.
Shame.